Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Sophistic and I want to show you how to best use our Teddy text input. Okay, let's talk about such a situation. We have an SSD project with only SSD tasks inside. Of course, we made the graphical input with Sophie Plus. If we now go to WinGraph and look to the punching results, we see a lot of parameters in the punching design. If we zoom to a specific floor, we see here a lot of punching parameters, maybe for node 1064. We see BMS used a flat better value of 1.15. And we now want to change this. Therefore, we go into the SSD and change or convert this design task into a Teddy task. We open it and see this input. This is now the Teddy text input. We want to make an input for punching. We now open the manual for punching and see this input. There is also a control punching input, but now we want to directly input this beta value. We see it here, beta value by manual input. We now go back to WinGraph. Remember this node number 1064. Go into the input and make a new input punching. 1064 beta 1.07 and run this task. If we now go back to WinGraph, we see that really only at this node the program used a better value of 107 and we now have only four parameters. Now a next possibility at this node 1058 we want to give more reinforcement to reduce the parameters. For this we again go back to the manual and see here there are some inputs for this. Minimum longitudinal reinforcement if the punching check requires links rho L. So we go back to our input and write punching 1058 rho L 1.10, that's a reinforcement ratio. If we run it and look to the WinGraph results, we now see only three parameters because we have used more longitudinal reinforcement. If you set a structural point in Sophie Plus, the node number will never change. To explain the Teddy input, it is now better to switch to another example, this little frame. It is good to first make a little sketch of the frame and decide the node numbers 101, 102, 201, 202. Now we want to input these four nodes with the Teddy. For this I have used the SSD, but now with a text input with Sophie MSHA we can make an input for the system. With node we input nodes. If we go to the help manual we find node number x, y, z. We can also find the possibilities at the bottom of the screen, node number x, y, z. So we input node number x, y, z. We see these keywords are bright blue and the numbers are black. So the program automatically sees what is a keyword and what is an input. We now input our four nodes and say these two nodes have a fixing. This one line has the same meaning as two different lines for node 101 and 201. On this input of nodes I can now show you the major possibilities of the CutImp input language. We see here this input that we just made, but we can make this node input in different ways. Here I wrote x, y, z separately, but as y is always zero, we can also remove it. So only the x and 
z coordinate is of interest and we can also first input z and then x. So the bright blue number is always important that the next value belongs to this keyword. Also you could say we input x, y, z in a set of input. So for example node 202 has x5 and z equal 4 because the program knows that after x you have to input y and then z. But here the best possibility is a table. You first write a table header with the keywords you want to input number, x and z, and then you just make a little table with only the numbers. Maybe you wonder why I have here this gray line in the first row. Let's explain. If you want to copy some lines and maybe mark it from here to here, you will see that the lines are not selected completely. So it is better to go to this gray column. You see the cursor is switching and if you mark it in the gray column you see always full lines are selected. We press Ctrl C, go to here, Ctrl V and we see all lines are copied. If you want to only copy one line it is best to go into this line, press the function key F8 and then this line is doubled. We have now seen the most important features of the CutImp input and we can continue with the groups and the beams. For this we just open with the function key F1 the help file where we see the number of the element, NA starting node, NE end of the beam node. If we do not want to input a node number for the beam we can say fit, then the program will place beam elements from node 101 up to 201 with 6 beam elements division. You see that I do not input NE here because NE is following NA and so if I write 101, 201. So 201 is automatically N, E at the end. The same with the next beam and the other beams. If we run this we now get this system. We now go back to our original file and can now better understand how to input values in the Teddy text input. In a following video I will show more advanced features. So thanks for listening and goodbye!